Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tank here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to hopefully resolve the Windows Update Error 0x8007002. If you're running the Windows operating system, so hopefully this should be a pretty straightforward tutorial. And without further ado, let's jump right into it. So we're going to be going over things that both apply to Windows 10 as well as earlier versions but not everything will apply for earlier versions, so just keep that in mind, but I'll be sure to let you guys know. So we're going to jump into it, and the first thing we're going to do is start by opening up the Start menu, and this will apply for Windows 10 here, and that would be to just type in Troubleshoot. Actually, it will apply for earlier versions too, it'll look pretty similar, so if you go underneath Best Match, Troubleshoot. If you're on Windows 7, there will be a list of different troubleshooting utilities you can use as well. Windows 10 looks a little bit different, so underneath Get Up and Running, we're going to go underneath Windows Update, Result Problems that Prevent You from Updating Windows, and then left click on Run the Troubleshooter. It's going to start checking for problems here, so just be patient. Okay, so it might say pending system changes that require reboot has been detected. You have to restart the computer and then try and run Windows Update again. So I would suggest just left click on next if it finds anything else here. So you can see it's already picking things up. So I'm going to click on close, which suggests you guys restart your computer. And I hope that it was able to fix the problem the first way. The second way, this should again apply for all versions of Windows and it should look a little bit similar. So we're going to start by opening up the star menu. We want to type in a file explorer. Best match should come back with file explorer desktop app. My left click on that. And now you want to go underneath this PC on the left side. On Windows 7 or Windows 8 it might say local disk. But you want to just go underneath local disk here and it happens to be my C drive. So I'm going to just double click on that. And then I'm going to go double click on the Windows folder. And now I'm going to scroll down until I get to software distribution. Double click on that one time. So if there's anything in this folder right here, you just want to highlight over everything. Right click and then just left click on delete. You just want to delete everything out of here. You're not actually deleting any Windows updates. This is just basically a cache for the Windows updates that are being downloaded and installed. So it's really no harm in deleting it, just clearing it out. When you restart the Windows update servers and you re started when you restart your computer, it should automatically begin downloading and repopulating this folder. So if you get anything that say this action can't be completed, just left click on skip and you can also do this for all current items as well. So you probably won't be able to delete everything in this specific folder but you want to get pretty close and hopefully that should have resolved the issue as well. So again restart your computer, hopefully that has resolved the problem. Now if you're still experiencing problems, I would suggest going and opening up the Start menu and type in Services. Best match should come back with Services right above Desktop App. Just want to left click on that one time to open it up. And once the Services are open, you want to go down to the Background Intelligent Transfer Service. Double click on it. You want to make sure Startup Type is set to Automatic or Automatic Delayed Start. And if it's stopped, you want to left click on the Start button and then just left click on OK. You want to do the same thing for the, I just want to get down here, the cryptographic services. So double click on that. 
Again, startup type should be set to automatic. You want to make sure it's running as well. And then you also want to go down to the Windows Update Service. So, as the name implies. So, I'm just going to go down looking for that. It shouldn't be too hard to find. Double click on that. Again, you know, startup type, you want to set that to automatic. You want to start it. And apply and OK. And hopefully that should have resolved your problem. Again, restart your computer. There's been a few restarts involved in this process, but I feel like that's not too much to ask for. So I do hope this brief tutorial was able to help you guys out. And as always, thank you for watching. And I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.